Hey guys, how's it going? Just a quick shitty phone video update thing for the moment. Um, got the Model 2 here. I finally got all the fucking plastic off of the thing. And let me tell you what, that was a pain in the ass. Um, but it's off of there now and out of the way. Uh, so we can continue with disassembly. Um, I want to do that. I'm not going to do that this evening, though. I've been getting up at 3.30 in the morning uh, every day so far this week because a certain uh, hunting activity season of, that I enjoy is in in West Virginia right now, so that's taking up a lot of my time. But um, hopefully I'll get a little actual sleep tonight and uh, I'll be ungrumpy enough to film some fun stuff tomorrow. Um, I did print out all of the technical manual and the uh, service bulletins and uh, there was also this nice pictorial disassembly tutorial um, which uh, has helped locating the screws that need to come out but not actually getting to them. I mean you've got to take like a stupid long quarter inch nut driver and go down in between these two circuit boards to get one of those screws out that takes the frame uh, out of the plastic and lord I, I don't know how I'm going to get the freaking thing back in there I guess I'll I'll probably have to make a I got it out of there with a great big long screwdriver but you know you can't hold you can't hold the screw with a screwdriver to put it down in there I'll have to use a nut driver for that and like tape it into the nut driver so I'll have to make a make a great big long nut driver to reassemble the thing I guess but um I can get down here underneath now and uh, get the disk drive out and I think once the disk drive is out um, everything will disassemble in this direction and be cool um, but boy now they did not make this thing uh, to be gotten into easily I'll tell you that anyway uh, the disassembly tutorial has uh, has things being disassembled in a different order but it sure looks to me like it'll be easier to just go from right to left, taking out the disc drive first, and then the card gauge will come out, and then I'll be able to get to all the screws in the video board, and the CRT and everything will come out a lot easier, and then finally the power supply. So, I guess we'll see. All right, uh, that's it for this evening. I'm sorry to not have anything more interesting for you. Uh, but uh, t tomorrow I will try my damnedest to uh, make some more time for this. And oh, another thing I wanted to mention is the more, the more I get into this thing, the more that I think I may have been an uh, unwilling accomplice to shipping insurance fraud. Um, I think this thing may have been damaged before it was sent to me. Because um, it looks, it sure looks like somebody's been into this thing before there weren't any close-up photos on the auction showing the serial number or anything so I can't check for sure but um like a lot of the screws that m actually mounted the plastics onto this frame were really really loose like barely not even t not even snug you know what I'm saying and this uh oh, which one is it? it's one of these one of these or a couple of these screws holding the CRT in were really loose like the the nut just barely threaded on there I tightened them up um, but uh, I I don't know how that would have happened in shipping you know what I'm saying like if this thing is really like 20 year old closet fresh like the guy seemed to imply um, in one of his messages uh, those screws would be seized in there like hell because all of the rest of them that I've tried are seized in there like hell um, so yeah I'm I'm a little dubious but uh, I got refunded so and I got to keep the parts as far as I know I haven't heard anything about returning the thing I can't the guys like incommunicado now so I don't know but um uh, I guess we're cool. It basically was a free Model 2, even though I've got to do a lot of work on it to restore it, since it's so damaged, but, you know, I got my money back, so anything from here on out is nothing that I can really complain about. I just, I just hate to be a 
hate to be an accomplice to shipping insurance fraud. I mean, insurance companies are kind of a scam anyway, but it's still dishonest. So, I don't know, man. I feel kind of dirty. But what else am I going to do, I guess? All right. Um, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you tomorrow or maybe the day after, if it takes me a little bit to edit. Take it easy.